Sister Frida is down here. All right, let me make sure the volume's all the way up on here. Maximum. I'm ready. Hey, Asher, the camera's all set, right? I whisper, wiping a sweaty palm against my pants and twisting around to check on my best friend. Hey, guys. So I wanted to quickly create this video and just jump on here and tell you about a brand new feature that Kindle has released with their newest update. They have not announced this information yet, but it is available and you just kind of have to grab it yourself and do it manually. But I think that eventually they will give the update just automatically. I did not want to wait, so I decided to install it manually. So it's the newest update. I'm gonna show you guys how to grab and install the update, especially especially if you have a Mac. But essentially what this update is, it applies assistive reader to any Kindle book. So as you guys know, assistive reader did already exist on the Kindle. You can listen and read along, but the only thing about it is that it slows down your Kindle. It basically puts everything in read aloud mode and it reads every single thing on the page. And it's just actually kind of a nightmare to navigate, although it is supposed to be helpful. It ends up being like really unhelpful for the average user. So they've released an assistive reader, which is just like what they have on the iPhone and or on the iPhone app or any type of um Kindle app on whatever device you're using. And with that, you can simply just select the top screen and it will pull up this menu and you'll be able to do assistive reader. Now you will have to turn this on. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well. But before we jump into that, I just wanna show you guys the difference. So assistive reader is the new one they've added. And what they had before was screen reader. So those are the two different ways that you can listen to your Kindle. And um, this new update is really cool because it's something that we have been asking for and Kindle finally decided to listen. So um, I'm really, really excited about it. And um, although it has ways and ways to go in terms of sound quality, the person that they have doing the assistive reading is 100% a robot. This was actually an opportunity for Kindle to simply just bring Alexa's voice in here. Give us Alexa's voice in the assistive reader and all would be right with the world. But they decided to give us the lowest budget voice for assistive reader. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the new update. So the update that you have on here. The newest update is 5.18.4.0.1. So that is the newest update that was just released a few days ago and you can get this directly off of the Amazon website. If you type into Google how to install your Kindle update, it's going to pull up Amazon as the very first option and that page is manually update your Kindle e-read. That is the page you need to be on. So this is what the page looks like and on this page you're going to see the instructions on how to update, right? Then you're gonna go over to here to Kindle e-reader software updates. This is gonna give you a full breakdown list of all the latest updates, depending on what device you have. The device I have is the Kindle Paperwhite 12th generation 2024. So I simply downloaded this software update and it's gonna give you a file on your computer. So download the file and this is what the file is gonna look like. It's a gonna say the file name and then it will say bin. You're not gonna open it or do anything to the file, just download it and keep it on your computer. Then you're gonna plug in your Kindle to your computer and when it's plugged in, it will look like this. It will say connected to computer. And then if you're on a Mac, which is what I'm on, I've mentioned this before, but you're gonna need to open up your Kindle file structure. And to do this, you'll need the Android app. So um, the app is called Android File Transfer, but Kindle also has their own app that you can use, that you can access the file structure of your Kindle. I personally like to use Android File Transfer. So if you Google Android File Transfer, download that app to your computer and that will give you this. And then when you plug your Kindle in, this is what you're gonna see, this page here. All right, you're simply going to just take the file and drag and drop it into the Kindle Paperwhite file, that's it. That's all you're gonna do, drag and drop it. Mine's already installed, so I'm not gonna drag and drop it in here for you guys, but you just simply drag and drop it and leave it there and you're done for this po portion of things. Then you're gonna close that out, disconnect your Kindle, unplug. Then once you're done, you're gonna go over to software updates and then it's actually gonna pop up saying install your latest, install your software, and it will be right here. So once you've done that, everything, it should pop up here saying install the software. You're gonna tap to install, and then you're gonna go through this process. So let me show you guys. Now that we're up 
update it i'm gonna see if we have that um feature the new feature so i'm gonna go over to a book i'm gonna tap on i think it's supposed to be under here oh no 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 there hit more there it is assistive reader listen to text to speech and read along with highlighted text when available for the book so we're gonna turn it on and i don't know how to make it work though i guess i tap the top and it's right there okay i'm gonna attach some headphones and then i'll be back hold on all right headphones are on we're gonna connect all right let's get to it i'm gonna pick another book though let's do something i haven't read fake dating best friend here we go this is so exciting all right let's open it up yeah 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 all right here is the moment of truth sister reader is down here all right we make sure the volume's all the way up on here maximum i'm ready no i don't want to skip 30 seconds i just want to play at least i'm pretty sure i will be hey asher the camera's all set right i whisper wiping a sweaty palm against my pants and twisting around to check on my best friend he's crouched behind one of the this sounds horrible let's see if i can adjust the voice assistive reader let's do the speed first usually it sounds a little bit better if i up the speed so i'm gonna go to 1.5 because i like to read at 1.5 often jars of homemade jam the canopy above him sags slightly in the middle flapping every time the breeze picks up he looks completely out of place surrounded by raffle signs and glitter stickers wearing an expression that reminds me of my aunt's grumpy cat during bath time it's almost funny he could scowl all he wants but with those turquoise blue eyes and that dimpled smile half the town spoons over it hardly matters the beloved owner of polymorph fitness has no shortage of admirers not that he ever seems to notice and of course i beg my best friend to record the best day of my life because my boyfriend kyle is going to propose okay so i have to admit this voice is horrible but this is actually a really cool feature for Kindle because this is kind of a game changer. Like before we could only do the assistive reader where we had to like go through the whole like navigation, double tap and it slowed the whole Kindle down. This I can literally just turn it on like that. So this is a really cool feature and it reads along and you have to get used to that voice for sure because it's definitely robotic. But if you can handle it and deal with it, then this is a really, really great update, Kindle. I'm thoroughly impressed and I'm looking forward to doing some assistive reading on here, especially while working. Okay, so I was trying to figure out how to get it to read from a certain position and I haven't quite figured that out yet. It just kind of keeps going. Now, if you stop, then um, hit play again, it will continue from that spot. Let's see. So I've had the issue of constantly like tapping on different places and it turns the page and then it reads from the top of the page, which is kind of annoying. If I go back, it starts at the top of the page again, which is also kind of annoying. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to play with this a bit more and figure out what the actual controls are to make it read from certain points. But once I figure that out, I guess I'll have to do another like in-depth video on how to really use this assistive reader feature and um, not just see like, I just tapped in the middle of the page and it's flipped the page. So I need to adjust my settings somewhere so that I'm not like constantly turning pages just by touching the screen. Um, so I will figure that out at some point and then get back to you. But yeah, so that is the coolest new update from Kindle and I hope you guys enjoyed it because it's time to update your Kindle. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in another video coming up very soon. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video useful or if you thought this was a really cool new feature. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below if you're going to use this assistive reader feature or not. And I will see you guys in another video coming up very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!